After almost a year of living here, it is time for me to go back home. When I first came to the Netherlands, I did not expect that I was going to have such a crazy journey. I absolutely loved exploring the streets of Groningen. I think it is safe to say that during the past year, I learned a lot about the Dutch culture. Although cycling was a little bit of a struggle for me, I still managed to laugh every time I fell off the bike. I also struggled every time I tried to park my bike. Let's just say that bikes and I didn't get along that well. But overall, I think I adjusted to the culture pretty quick. This project was really interesting to me, since I got to see how children from different countries and continents behave. I realize that culture, traditions, and education affect the way in which children do different activities. I also got to see what they eat on a daily basis, what they do for fun, how they act around their family, and their aspirations. After months of working on this, I found a world of differences. To summarize this journey, we thought it would be a good idea to make a quiz about all the differences that I showed in previous episodes. What type of fruit or vegetables do Mexicans put on almost every meal? A. Papaya B. Carrots C. Avocados What vegetables does the Netherlands produce the most? A. Potatoes B. Onions C. Both What type of food is an important basis of Mexican food? A. Oysters B. Tortillas C. Ice cream True or false? In the Netherlands, children only eat bread for breakfast. What sport does Rafa and his friends like to play? A. Football B. In the playground C. Dancing What do Evelyn and Tess May do on their free time? A. Horse riding B. Play instruments C. Both What surprised me the most about how Dutch children go to school? A. That they go with their dog B that they go by bike alone C. That they go on ropes
What surprised you the most of this journey? Discuss or leave a comment below. For me, looking back at this, I realized that Mexican children do not have as many opportunities as the Dutch children. But this does not mean that their life is bad. It just means that they have a different way to approach life. For this reason, I think this story is worth telling to Dutch children, so they can be thankful for what they have. And thank you for watching my story.